Okay. So what do we citizens have a right to expect? I think it's an income which uh, covers our basic necessities, whether we're in work or unemployed or a pensioner. I think we uh, need uh, an affordable home without overcrowding. I think that we need schools which are uniformly good at the moment, some are good and some are bad, but no child should be left behind. We need a national health service uh, which is reliable. At the moment we have a patchy one, some parts are good, some are not very good. And we need to be able to care for our elderly, uh, who are often very neglected and have a very difficult end to their lives. We look to government to do these things, not to provide everything for us, but to do it with us, if you like, that we in government should work together, we citizens in government should work together to provide these things. But unfortunately, we don't any longer trust government. We're not very inclined to vote for them. We think they're basically concerned with winning the next election, that the MPs, for the most part, are very interested in their own careers, not so much in us. They're not very good at running things. They don't provide reliable services. We don't even think they're very fair. And so this makes us be pessimistic about the future. We used to believe in progress, now we wonder whether we're on a downward escalator. And we can't go on like this. All these things have absolutely got to change. And this coming election, uh, 2015, is a moment to make a change. So let's use our imaginations. Let's imagine, first of all, um, a parliament composed of MPs whom we could trust, members of parliament who've done something with their lives, had experience of running things, had been successful to some extent, and had come into parliament and put themselves forward as candidates as an act of public service, not as a career move, who only wished to serve one term to get things done. Imagine that. Imagine that policy was made jointly by us and government, that if it was, for instance, education policy, we would be consulting parents, students, educational experts, uh, as, as well as uh, government itself, and the same for other areas. And imagine that if we were able to feel ourselves part of government, that we could scrutinise what government was doing, that we will be consulted and that we could keep track of it. Now all these things are what Democracy 2015 stands for. Time is short, next election is not far away. We ask for your support to make these things happen.